Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you a part that went bad on my 2012 Toyota Tundra. Um, it comes up with a code of P2442, which is like a stuck air injector valve. And so the piece actually sits right over here. I'm going to show you what it looks like it's inside the house right now. Um, I just ordered the part online and just got it in today. If you want to check out that part, um, just check out the links down in the description below. But um, what happens is your vehicle will go into like a limp mode where you can't go any faster than like 65 miles per hour. Your traction control um, light will um, stay on and you can't turn it off. And then your engine, engine uh, check light will come on as well. So main thing you have to do is take off the air hose, remove a few of these hoses here out the way. Make sure you cover everything up so nothing falls down in there. I have this covered up too. And then this other hose over here. So here's the old one and this is the new one here. I actually took off the four screws that hold it in place so you can see the inside of it and see how deteriorated um, the old one is versus the new one. But uh, this is actually made by Toyota and this is a Denso product, I believe. So it says Denso on there. And then the part number is actually this one right here that starts with 25. I don't know if you can see that. That's the part number right below where it says Toyota. And this one's made in China and I believe it's called Dorman. So this is basically a secondary air injection check valve um, that's compatible with like Lexus, Toyota, and um, other models. Um, I think Sequoias use this, um, Tacomas, and Tundras. But you can look down in the description below and um, find the part that works for your making model. But um, I'm gonna open these up so you can see how nasty this one is. This is the original one that's in the vehicle. You can see how the flapper was stuck because the valve is all corroded. And then this is the inside of this one right here. It's all rusted up. And then this is the new one. You can see the new one, how the flapper or valve is nice and clean. And the seal on the bottom is flat versus this one's all crinkly. And then this one right here is nice and clean. And I'll show you these side by side so you can see them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out this interior portion right here and show you what the new one looks like. And this is what the old one looks like. It's got a bunch of crud on there and the bottom part is all rusted up. So time to go change this thing out. So to start this project, I basically removed the uh, battery terminal, make sure the battery is not connected. And then I took off the engine cover, which is right over here. Next thing I did was I took off the uh, airbox hose and disconnected the hose that was on here. And there's a smaller one that I disconnected, but I took that hose off. I use these Rhino wraps um, as a stepping stool so I can get up in here. And I basically covered everything that was opened up so nothing falls inside. It was pretty straightforward. Um, this little hose right here connected to this little piece right here. And this was connected over here. It goes back over there. And once you peel everything back, then you can gain access to your secondary uh, check, air check valve right over here. So, um, and that's pretty much it. So for the tools, I just used a 10 millimeter wrench for the two bolts that's right behind there and then i used a 12 meter 12 millimeter um, wrench for the three bolts that hold the actual air check valve down so i use that for those three pieces there and then a flathead screwdriver comes in handy to pry away the hoses like this pry the hose out after you remove this little hose clamp and then this also works really well for um, extracting the uh, electrical connectors. So this right here is the old gasket and this is the new one. When you put it on you want to make sure that you face it um, going this way and you can see how the bevel part that raises up higher will be facing you. All right so the new air check valve in you can see how everything lines up. These are the 12 millimeter bolts that go in here. There's three of them and they already put the uh, 10 millimeter ones in already can't really see it's hiding back there, but there's one there and one right there So you might be asking why I left this top part off is because it gives me a better angle to be able to use these kind of tools I had a very limited amount of tools. I didn't have my socket wrench 
um, that can give me a good angle on this thing. So as you can see right here, I can actually get this angle and tighten it down here. I can get over here and tighten it down. It's very tight in all these different areas. You can't get a full range of motion here. So, um, and even this back corner, this tall piece that goes on top of here would be in the way. I can always screw that down after I'm done getting everything clamped down, so. All right, so I got the three 12 millimeter screws in place now, and then the two 10 millimeter screws in place with the gasket. So next up is to put that top piece back on. So here's the top half. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here facing towards me. So it just goes on just like this. I put the four screws back in nice and tight. Those four right there. Now I'm just going to take the electrical connector. It's supposed to go into here. So you just slide that in just like so that snapped in then you're gonna take your hose it's pretty straightforward this can't go anywhere else but into here so you're just gonna take your time to make sure you don't break the hose try to get it around there there we go push it all the way forward to it gets to the very top part of this nice and snug all right sorry i can't capture it on video it was really tough getting this from here to over here i had to use a little um, wrench adjustable wrench to clamp this down so i had that right at the neck there to keep that in place already put the electrical connector back onto the check valve and then i did have to transfer this over from the old one to this new one it's just a little piece that ho holds the uh the wires it's like a like a hose clamp so you just put this on here like so so it locked into place next i'm going to take this off i use a glove to keep this clean throw that over there take this put it back on here all right so i couldn't do that on camera but i had to manhandle this hose and put it down on there and i'm going to use the hose clamp put it at the neck i'm gonna put this hose back on over there i took it off because it was getting in my way so take that off i'm gonna put this hose back on here and then that goes back to the air box all right so i went and connected that hose back on over there and so last piece is your air hose box so this piece right here is gonna go over here and this goes over here. And then we're going to connect this neck to that hose and then this smaller neck to that little hose that's right back. Where is it at? Right here. All right, so what I did was I put this piece on here first and joined it with this throttle body then I put the air filter cover and slid that on there. And then I finally put the small hose back on this air box. And then I have the hose clamp back on this main hose. You just have to put the engine cover on and give her a start. Oh, I also have to put the battery uh, terminal back on. Uh, but just to take note, this 10 millimeter wrench will also work for these brackets right here if you need to tighten these down 10 millimeter started her up and everything's running nice and smooth again that part is right there and i'm going to show you the uh, dashboard real quick and show you that the lights went off so started her up and everything's nice and smooth just like brand new um, i used to have an engine check light right over here that's gone and then the traction control light was on over here and the vehicle was pushed into uh, limp mode and so a uh, very easy fix i only spent around 200 dollars to do this repair i got quoted from toyota a couple thousand for parts and labor so i hope this video saves you a bunch of money and again if you want to check out the best deals on a secondary uh, air injection check valve just check out the links down in the description below but please be sure to like comment subscribe and share this video and as always thank you all for watching